Hey everybody, it's Carrie, owner and maker of Couture Candle Company. Welcome back, I'm so glad you're here. All right, today we are going to smell my favorite fragrance oils from Midwest Fragrance Company. You know the drill, grab your fragrance blotter strip. This one is super interesting because I, I was at a wedding in September. My friend's mom was like, can you make me a candle that smells like leaves from Bath and Body Works? And I was like, sure. I've never smelled leaves from Bath and Body Works, but I know it's huge, I know it's a hit. I know like a lot of candle makers make similar fragrances to Bath and Body Works number one or best selling candles. So um, I immediately looked it up, got the notes so I could figure out what I needed to blend to try and see. And I mean, I'm gonna call myself out. Maybe it's bad on me that I didn't go and go smell the candle, <laughs> but I figured it's it's pretty straightforward. Like it's really just gonna be what is the most potent thing. Um, I made a couple of samps and she loved them. So since then, and chatting with, I'm in this candle group. Hi everyone, if you're watching, what's up? Um, and we just sort of chat and we share about different, you know, looking for advice and answering, helping each other answer questions. And one of them for me, I was like, what is the deal with leaves? So when I was on Midwest, I saw this fragrance oil called Leaves and I needed to get it and smell it. And I told my girlfriend, if I hate it, do you want it? She's like, yeah, I'll, I'll take leaves. So I'm going to share with you the notes of the Midwest Fragrance Company oils. And then I will share with you the description notes of the Bath and Body Works candle. But anyway, let's dip this. I have put this in um, some candles. So we're just gonna dip it up to the first one. It is a very potent, a very strong. The first thing I get is like apples and spices. <clears throat> Let's get into it. Green stem, lemon, and cedar leaf. The middle notes are pine, spiced apple, and a floral melange. The base notes are earthy musk. I will tell you right now, the the green stem, the cedar leaf, and the spiced apple is like <laughs> right in your face. It's lovely. It's pretty classic. Um, <laughs> it's strong. Um, I think the spiced apple is the thing I smell the most. Uh, just to compare it to Bath and Body Works, they don't have a ton. They don't give you a ton of info. What it smells like: spiced, fruity, and oh so cozy. Basically, everything you love about fall. Uh, the fragrance notes are crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. So I went, here's the thing. This smells fantastic. It is very strong. I put it in a candle at 8% and I think I could go down to 7.5%. I went and smelled the candle and I gotta say, I like my blend better. I'm biased. Also, I'm really good at what I do, but... I just think like the balance that I have is super nice. And like, this is super nice. I don't hate it. I think it's absolutely lovely, but it kind of felt good. It was also like a little validating of when I took those notes and blended them and I was like, I don't know, does it smell like it? And she loved it. She asked me to make her soap as well. <laughs> thank you. I think that is incredible. And I'm so appreciative of that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So. If you like leaves, <laughs> the OG, I think this is a great dupe. It's definitely more apple-y spicy than the candle that I smelled. I also didn't, I didn't buy the Bath & Body Works candle to burn it and test it because I didn't think that was necessary. But if you have that candle and you have experience, tell me what it smells like when you burn it. Like what are the most prominent notes? Um, also the candle was like $20 and I think they said it was like a soy blend, soy paraffin blend. Um, yeah, it was fine. Just buy from your small candle maker businesses. That's all I'm gonna say. Lovely. I definitely think that this is worth it if you're if you're into it. If you don't do blending, you just want to like pour it out the bottle. I think you you've got a solid winner there. So this next fragrance oil is called Sherlock's Study. I bought this because I have been blending, researching blending a candle for about, I don't know, I want to say 10 months, almost a year. 
a candle that smells like, you know, like when you open up, if you get a new board, my gamers, come, come, we're here. You open up a new board game and it's like that smell of like fresh cardboard and fresh like uh, cards, you know, and you, you take them out of the, the cellophane and it's like that smell. People ask me if I could make a candle that smells like that cardstock fresh game, like gamer type of cod. And I was like, that is so interesting. And I have been struggling to make a blend that is true to that scent profile. I, full disclosure, I'm a gamer. I love board games. We are hardcore board gamers and video gamers. But honestly, that's how my husband and I met in the video game industry back when I used to work in a care print. But um, all that to say, this helped me get closer to where I need to get. Oh my God, let's dip it and let me tell you about it. It's so cool. I love that it's called, uh, we're gonna dip it halfway in. I love that it's called Sherlock Study too. It's, it's such a sweet name. I love the creative that they have on the website as well. Let me just tell you the description they give. A worn leather suede and rose rosewood touched with a complimentary hint of aged library books. Cause that, it's not so much parchment that I want to get, but it's cod stock, like similar, you know? Top notes are rosewood and lignin, which that is the, that, those two notes right there are why I purchased this. The middle notes are worn leather and cedar. The base notes are dock, tonka, patchouli, and sandalwood. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, it is so good. So the first thing I get is definitely the worn leather and suede. And then it uh, it's kind of smells like, uh, how do I describe lignin? What I love about lignin is that it kind of, it's literally like that smell of like old books or paper that's slowly decaying, you know what I mean? Um, and that is, <laughs> that is the smell. And pairing that with olibanum and some other things, is is how I've been getting to this uh, this I don't even know what I'm gonna call this candle, but I have I have some folks that are gonna help test it for me and tell me what they think. But basically, this this has helped get me uh, closer to this candle. I really like it. I, I think it's uh, I think it's stellar. It's one of one of the most unique fragrance oils that I've smelled um, since I started doing this. You know, four years ago. <coughs> Mm. All right, we're going to shift gears here. We're gonna get out of the fall and the dark and the heavy, and we're gonna brighten it up. And this is called Mahogany Coconut. <laughs> so now we've switched gears here, and I am doing research for fragrances for my summer product line next year, 2024 summer. Yes, that is how it happens, ladies and gentlemen. Fragrance strip, oh, mahogany coconut, just making sure I've got the right one in here. We're just gonna dip it up into the first, oh shit, I went too far. It doesn't matter. It's just gonna be stronger, but you can see I like, I way dipped it, that's fine. So this is described on the Midwest fragrance website as a rich, unique blend of island coconut and exotic mahogany wood. The top notes are mahogany woods and citrus. The middle notes are creamy coconut and English lavender. The base notes are sandalwood, vanilla, and white musk. I love lavender as a bridge note for blending. I use it a lot and seeing that here, oh my, it is so great. This smells like eh, Tahiti. This smells like a vacation location and you're drinking a pina colada, the suntan lotion, the sun. I can feel the sand between my toes, maybe in my butt crack. No, I'm just kidding. This is so incredible. Oh, dang, this is lovely. It is, it is a little sweet because you have the sandalwood, you have the vanilla, you have the white musk. It's like, and the coconut, but like, it's not so sweet that it feels cloying. Oh my God. Oh, this is one of my faves. But that's who I am. I like like super musky, earthy, you know, rich or throw me into like, I love all the coconutty, sandalwoody, beachy things. Coco Santal. Mm, mm, mm. Love it. Highly recommend mahogany coconut. 
The next fragrance is called Rio Radiance. Oh gosh, you can see I've already um, spilled and destroyed the, the bottle a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> Making is, it's not a clean process. Get your hands dirty. Okay, Rio Radiance is inspired by Sol de Janeiro products. So if you are familiar with Sol de Janeiro, Sol de, how come I, oh, no, Sol de Janeiro. <laughs> you can find them at Sephora, Ulta, uh, Nordstrom, they do, they're most famous for their Bum Bum Cream, which apparently smells like this. We're gonna go ahead and dip this in here. So I purchased this because I love Sol de Janeiro fragrance. Um, I wanted to, this is part of making a glowy body perfume oil for next spring, summer. But also, um, I, a friend of mine is a super big fan of the scent as well. So I wanted to make her some products with this scent to help test it for me. So let's get into it. The top notes are, I don't know if I'm saying this right. Le de Coco, it's L-E-I-T-E, -E, uh, and Warm Sands. Oh, for sure. The middle notes are Solar, Tuberose, and Lang Lang. I am Lang Lang. And then base notes are Creamy, Vanilla, and Amber Musk. Oh my God, that is an exact dupe. Holy moly, it is so good. Oh my gosh. I think this will make such an incredible body oil and then add some, some type of glitter pigment to add a little sheen to the skin. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I friggin love this. I, f I haven't smelled this in a minute because you know, holiday season and everything. Oh, what a nice break. Oh, if you could smell it, <laughs> I wish you could. Honestly, the thing I get at the very beginning is that is the cocoa, the Lang Lang. Oof. And a mix of like vanilla and tuberose. And I'm not like a super huge floral person, but I love when it's added in things like this, like what we saw with the lavender and the violet um, in previous ones. It's so, so nice. And then the Lang Lang is kind of sneaking in there a little bit on the side. Um, this is perfect. Exact dupe to Rio de Janeiro is Rio Radiance. They nailed it. I love it. So flame, the flaming candle, whenever I place an order there, they always include um, a little sample. And so this one is called Be Enchanted. I wanted to include it because I saw it there and I was like, let me try it. So I'm going to just do a quick dip. I just thought it'd be fun to share. I haven't smelled this one in a minute. Be Enchanted. So this is description. Fresh, crisp fruit of apple and peach. Highlight a dew rose and water lily heart as white cedar, vetiver, sandalwood, and musk linger. Oh, inspired by BBW type. So this is, I guess, a Bath and Body Works candle. I don't know what it is. It doesn't say. The top notes are green apple, peach, and juicy. I'll tell you, the peach is the first thing I am getting. The middle is dew rose and water lily. The bottom is cedar, sandalwood, vetiver, and musk. Oh, that is a good blend. Um... Yeah, the th you know what it is? <laughs> it smells good, it just smells really like fake. I don't know what it's trying to be. Um, what are people saying? What is this supposed to smell like? Like when it says, oh, pink sugar crystals, love spell. I'm not sure. I don't know what those are. Pink sugar crystals, why does that sound familiar? It's probably the bathroom. You know what it is? It's so sweet. <laughs> I love that the note is juicy. I love I love that descriptor. Yeah, the peach, the peach and the water lily are the strongest. I feel like the cedar, the sandalwood, the vetiver, the musk, they're like not quite there. You know what this reminds me of is like that, those um, juicy, those lip balms. I'm probably aging myself here. <laughs> when you were like a kid, they were like, we used to eat the chapstick. <laughs> this is why I am the way that I am. 
We used to like chew the chapstick because it was it tasted like candy and wax. It was gross, but it was good. You know what I mean? That's what this reminds me of, the smell of those like juicy chapsticks. But they weren't called juicy. I don't remember the name. I'm going to find it. I, I hope I find it. If I do, I will include it hopefully somewhere here. <laughs> it's interesting. It's very sweet, but like fake smelling. You know what I mean? I don't know. I this is I'm doing a terrible job, but I don't I don't love it. It's okay. I kind of want to throw it in a candle just to see what it does. Um, but it's just so opposite of the sense that I have curated. It's there's just something so fake about it and I, that's what I don't like um, but it's fine it's okay I should definitely put that in a candle <laughs> okay well that was a really fun rundown of some of my favorite uh, fragrance oils from Midwest Fragrance Company and then we just had a fun you know be enchanted with the flaming candle fragrance oil that was super fun to include I hope you enjoyed this video if you do check out my playlist of all of my fragrance oil testing I've got a bunch there. And let me know, what are what are some of your favorite fragrances from Midwest Candle and also from the Flaming Candle? Like, should I give this another shot? Or not this. Give the fragrance oils another shot because I have to say the samples that I've gotten from there are just a bit on the fake side. It's why I, I don't, I haven't gone back there because they're just, I don't, I'm not sure there's anything there. So if you can recommend something that smells more true to life and less fake, I'm open. Hit me up. Let me know. Leave them in the comments below. What is a fragrance that is not so fake, but is more like real, true to life fragrance? Let me know. Comment below. I'd love to check it out. I can always add it on to my next order. I appreciate you being here. Until the next one, I'll see you then. Bye.